Here's our next example of how to draw Lewis structures. In this case, we're going to look at something called hypofluorous acid. It's an acid because it can dissociate the hydrogen and place that in the water. Uh, but anyway, all we're interested here is interested in here is trying to find how to draw that. So we find the uh, atom here with the lowest electronegativity, which would be hydrogen, but hydrogen is not a good atom for a central structure. It tends to be appendage. So we look for the next one, which would be oxygen. Oxygen has a lower electronegativity than fluorine, so um, we'll, think, we'll think that to be in the middle. Uh, hydrogen is going to be an appendage, and so we'll probably place that over here and fluorine over there. Now, it could be that, that hydrogen may be on the other side and bound with fluorine. However, take a look. We know that hydrogen has one valence electron. We know that fluorine has seven valence electrons, and oxygen has six valence electrons which means that fluorine typically only makes a single bond to gain that one extra electron. So by placing the hydrogen on the other side, you would force fluorine to make two bonds, which wouldn't quite work out with its electron structure, so it's more likely it's going to be like this. Oxygen definitely looks like it wants to be in the center because it wants to try and make two bonds to make up for the two missing electrons. So we probably expect something to look like this. Now let's draw in the remainder of the electrons. So two electrons are already used here in the bonding, which means there's only four more left for oxygen. So we'll put two there and two there. For fluorine, one is already used in the bonding, so there must be six remaining. So let's place them over there. And once we've done that, let's go ahead and see if we have the octet rule obeyed and also make sure that we have the right number of valence electrons total. Since we only have one each of these, that would be 8 plus 16 or 14 valence electrons. So we should not have used more than 14 electrons here. All right, first of all, the octet rule. Well, hydrogen can only have two, and if we draw a circle around here, we can see that that hydrogen would indeed have two electrons, which is good. If I draw a circle around here, you can see that the uh, oxygen would have two, four, six, eight electrons, at least part of the time. And fluorine, when you draw a circle around here, we can see two, four, six, eight, eight electrons here. Oh, that's a terrible looking eight. Let me try that again. Uh, eight electrons like so. And you can see the octet rule is obeyed, so we're good there. Okay, how about the total number of electrons? We'll have two and four, that's four free electrons there. For fluorine, we have six. And how many used in bonding? We have two here and two there, that would be another four. So four plus six plus four is equal to 14. And looks like, yes, the right number of valence electrons. It looks like we found the Lewis structure for what we call hypofluorous acid. And that's how you do that. Again, following the rules makes it very simple. Now, of course, it's not going to remain this simple. In future videos, you see some more complicated examples and some examples that do not necessarily follow the rules but still are okay. So, as you'll see how this develops, keep taking a look at these examples and you'll see as they get more complicated, we find a way to follow the rules in such a way that we come up with the right Lewis structure. Okay, that's how we do that.